Today I will be continuing the uh, pen platform with series. Uh, this is part two. If you haven't checked out part one, please do. So uh, we left off over here. Uh, so we need to add in some obstacles for, for like spikes or lava. Uh, in this case, lava because spikes are pretty hard to do. And then, uh, and then some sort of level goal, and then some sort of bounce pads. Okay, so uh, for the first thing we want to do is edit this draw line. So let's add in a size, and a size, and then a uh, size. Okay, and then click OK. And then we want to, uh, at the beginning, we want to set the pen size to uh, size. Okay, so now you can see it's just a little thing. Uh, black line, it's pen size zero, <laughs> uh, which is kind of impossible. So let's set the pen size to 40 and delete the set pen size. Okay, so this should be better now. Uh, I hope you also got that because uh, when I first started using custom blocks, I was really confused. So uh, part two will be the end if you don't want to make it scrolling. But if you do want to make it scrolling, make sure to check out part three, which is not out yet. But uh, it might be out if you're watching this, but it might not be. So uh, let's just uh, start out with making uh, so, uh, yeah, I think we should do it this way. So, in the uh, draw ground, we can add in uh, set pen colors, right? So, we can set the pen color to black when we draw the ground. And then we can also make a block. Or, no, we don't need to make a block. But uh, we can also set the pen color to red over here. So, uh, saturation and brightness. 100 and then color is 0 and then draw a line from uh, let me say like 20 or 100 uh, and then y is going to be uh, let's see negative 100 and then again the x is one, uh, 100 and what, 200 and then y negative 1 100 size is going to be 10 so let's just see okay so negative 100 is too high so let's just make it like uh negative 150 yeah uh maybe negative 125 uh, 115 120 uh 100 you know what i give up negative 125 and then negative 125. Okay, so uh, this is so we don't go back to the beginning if we touch uh, this red thing, which is supposed to be lava, but it's not right now, but uh, it's fine. So uh, we should add in a block called a uh, special uh, special protection then render that screen refresh okay and then uh, this would be mostly for uh, like making uh, uh, making the player bounce if it touches a bounce pad make the player go back to zero zero if it touches lava and then make the player uh, uh, go to the next level if it touches the the portal whatever you want to call it but uh, so in the special detection block, we can add in an if, and then an or, and then uh, if y position is less than less than uh, negative one hundred and eighty, or uh, I think it is. Yeah, uh, negative 170 actually, because uh, the hitbox. 
And so negative, and so if one position is less than negative 170, or if it's touching color red, so, uh, wait a minute. Okay, and then uh, touching color red, uh, then you want to have a block called it called uh, reset variable. Where reset variables is it makes more sense variables, and then uh, we want to basically duplicate this. And then you want to reset variables. Sorry if it's laggy because, and if you hear any audio, uh, bad audio quality, then that's uh, my computer acting up. Okay, so uh, this reset variables basically is a block that we can use many times. Uh, it's actually really useful because when we do the uh, the level change, then it would basically like uh, reset the variables again and then change the level by one. Okay, and then uh, in this, I would change uh, this to negative one hundred and uh, one hundred. And then this to uh, negative 150. Okay, so. Uh, okay, and then we also want to put this do special uh, detection in the forever loop. So before the drop layer, we want to uh, drop layer, drop layer. Okay, so before drop layer, we want to do special detection. So as you can see, if we touch the red, we go to zero, zero, and, uh, okay, so the next thing we want to do is add in a level goal. So for me, I like circles, <laughs> so, uh, in the tutorial, in part, I mentioned in part one, they use a square, but I like to use, uh, circles, so let's make a block, call it set portal, or, no, not now. Maybe not, no, but, uh, because if you want to make it scrolling, then it would, uh, be a hassle, so, uh, let's just add in, a uh, draw a line from, or set the pen color to whichever color you want, I will use green, because that's what I use in my pen platformer, and then draw a line from, okay, so the size would be in, like, 30, and then, as you can see, that's zero, zero. So if we don't change the X and Y values, then it's just a circle. So let's change the X or the size to 50 or 40, and then draw the line at uh, negative 200, or I mean 200, and then, and then the Y would be, uh, let's see, negative 50. Yeah. Okay, so as we can see, we have the portal, it does nothing. So in the special detection block, we should add in an if touching color, uh, green, whichever color that is. Then we want to uh, reset variables and then uh, change or, yeah, change the level by one, so let's add in a variable called level for this right only. And then, uh, set the level to uh, one over here, and then, uh, change the level by one over here. So, as you can see, we have this, so if we show the level, then level equals 1, level equals 2. So, uh, let's add in an if around all of this, level equals 1, equals 
one then uh, you can also make a custom block called well no that wouldn't work now but uh, you can just do this and then if level equals two oops so if level equals two then I want to draw it round uh, wait a minute oh, I made a mistake so this should be in the draw level collision so uh, okay so uh, in the draw ground just do that and then uh, let's just move this uh, this should be in the draw level but uh, is there a draw level? nope okay so there's not a draw level yet so let's just make a block called draw level and then click ok so in the draw level we want to have an if level equals 1 then draw ground uh, and delete this draw the ground and do that so forever instead of draw ground we want to draw level so draw level okay so it should be the same right now uh, but it should be less laggy -er. so uh, in this this is we don't need that uh, draw level and then draw ground okay so we can duplicate this for level 2 so for level 2 let's just uh, do whatever let's just add in uh, just a thing so level 2 is nothing so level 1 go to portal and then level 2 it's nothing um, okay so the thing that I like to do is add in bounce pads so let's add in a uh, set pen color to uh, yellow which is uh, a bounce pad and then let's set the size to uh, maybe like 20 and then draw a line from uh, 100 to 200 uh, or, and then the Y would be uh, negative 110 yeah, negative 110 okay so level 1 level 2 okay let's just bring it down a bit negative uh, 130 yeah okay 130 okay so if we touch this it does nothing so in the special uh, special detection let's just make this special condition collision okay uh, and then we need an if touching color uh, this yellow then we want to uh, set y velocity to uh, something like so it was 15 so maybe like 20 okay okay so it's higher and this is uh, you can also set the uh, you can also set the portal over here but uh, yeah this is basically a uh, pen platformer uh, you can end the tutorial here if you don't want it to be scrolling but if you do then make sure to check out part 3 in my scrolling pen platformer tutorial that is scrolling uh, so uh, this is it I hope you enjoyed bye